Israeli government has turned what was already a devastating blockade into a total siege, depriving millions of Palestinians of food, electricity, and internet in a brutally terrifying time, leaving millions of people with no way to find each other or contact their loved ones outside of Gaza. Coming from the Israeli government right now is genocidal. Make no mistake, as Jews, we recognize it. And as Jews, we know that that means that through our grief, we have to speak up. The video we're about to watch is quite distressing, not because it contains any graphic physical content, but because it reveals the evidence of a troubled population. This is a population that claims to be civilized, but a deep analysis shows that it is still deeply entangled in savagery. They made strong efforts to mock the oppressed people of Palestine over the actions of Hamas militants, but God intervened and they failed miserably. Mysterious events were recorded in the lives of some of the content creators. Some of the pages that disseminated the videos were taken down and natural disasters are increasingly affecting many parts of the country. Assalamu alaikum lovers of truth and justice. Please like and share this video so that others can watch it as well. Hit the subscribe button to stay connected with us in the future. As a more civilized observer, I understand that not everyone in Israel support the collective punishment imposed on Palestine as a result of the counteroffensive by Hamas yet. The majority who do are becoming increasingly zealous. These videos have gone viral. They might seem like content created to mock, but they delve deep and tell a better story about the hardship Palestinians have endured since their ancestral lands were occupied by refugees from America and Italy. They have been denied their land and property inheritance locked up in an open prison called Gaza with no room for maneuver, denied a peaceful government labeled as terrorists branded as evil and subjected to various forms of aggression because of their identity. Instead of mocking, these videos actually help the world understand that apartheid rule is what Palestine has been enduring for years. Let's watch the video and I will come back to react to them accordingly. This is pure insanity. The purpose of this video is not to mock Hamas, who had staged a successful operation in Israel, unfortunately leading to the loss of many lives. A very tragic event indeed. Instead, it seeks to mock the ordinary people of Gaza, some of them are women and children. The most bewildering aspect is that this show of shame involves children. How insolent and insensitive, what misplaced aggression against the innocent. I know many people have put forward a theory that the civilian population of Gaza tacitly supports the actions of Hamas, but nobody, including those in the Israeli government, has presented any evidence to prove that. All of these claims are within the realm of speculation. Using such speculations to justify the targeting of an entire population is barbaric and very cruel. These Israeli people who support the ongoing military operation in Gaza, which has turned the area into a wasteland, should instead follow the examples of Israelis in Canada and America. <laughs> Oh, yeah.
American Jews are leading this effort today, speaking with our unique voice in this moment. And many, many of our non-Jewish allies are here with us in solidarity and have contributed extensively to make this possible. Corrupt, failed, reactionary leaders are setting the region on fire and targeting families with war crimes. The Israeli government has turned what was already a devastating blockade into a total siege, depriving millions of Palestinians of food, electricity, and internet in a brutally terrifying time, leaving millions of people with no way to find each other or contact their loved ones outside of Gaza. Coming from the Israeli government right now is genocidal. Make no mistake, as Jews, we recognize it. And as Jews, we know that that means that through our grief, we have to speak up. We have to speak up because we know we're saying things like human animals. As you talk about bombing an entire people, we know where that leads. They are going to have to start naming the real reasons behind US government policy in the Middle East. Power, weapons, oil, racism, Islamophobia. They cannot do this in our name. Not in our name. Not in our name. They've been calling on the U.S. not to ask them to show restraint. And we've seen that reflected already in memos that have been leaked to the media about the Biden administration, about the State Department not saying anything about de-escalation or ceasefire. That is coming from the Netanyahu government's pressure, and that is precisely where the pressure ought to be specified. We are a government that sponsors the Israeli government with billions in military funding, and so our responsibility here, standing here as Americans, is towards the violence that we contribute to, and it obviously leads to the one government here that is objecting to any kind of de-escalation, and that is why we're raising our voices against it.